What's up, family? Jared the Boss Man here. You're tuned into the Boss Man Show on AM 1010, AM 1430, 1055 The King. Get the King out at 105theking.com and the Boss Man Show at bossmanshow.com. Hit me up on Instagram, the Boss Man Show, Twitter at Boss Man Show, and Facebook, Boss Man Show. It's the Boss Man on your radio. Listen to the Boss Man Show with your host, JR, Saturdays at 9 a.m. right here on AM 1010, The King. What's up, good people? Bet Online is your number one source for all your betting needs. The latest odds, lines, and matchup reports for baseball boxing, golf, and more. Better Online continues to be the fastest and easiest way to place your wages, including live betting and your favorite casino and card games available to play right from your phone. Head to the website or use your mobile device to sign up today and get in on the action. Remember to use your promo code BELIEVE, B-L-E-A-V, for your 50% welcome bonus. On your first deposit, bet online when the game starts. BS3 Network, changing the way you watch TV. Yes, BS3 Network, changing the way you watch TV, covering content and hot topics from A to Z. Sports, music, society and culture, movie reviews, you name it, we have it. Check it out on bs3network.com or... Check us out on Roku, BS3 TV on Roku, as well as check out your favorite podcast on all podcast platforms or Spreaker.com backslash BS3 Network. You are now tuned to BS3 Network. show in front of the show my brother you see him he's moving on up down to the coastal carolina parts of the world on the beach there my man justin gray <laughs> well how are you feeling how you doing down there man you enjoying that water and and, and the, the nice low country down there my brother oh man i'm a carolina guy through and through so for me to be able to stay in the carolinas get out here to the coach to the coast man we just like like tim beck our football coach says we're balling at the beach <laughs> yes, right. they're right. I had him on so a few weeks ago, Coach Beck. He, he he cool as heck, man. So yeah, both of you are all doing great things down there. Let me ask you, how's the family, man? Are they they enjoying it down there? Uh, I know you had the kids had to be excited about going to the beach, man. Oh man, if you see my kids and my wife right now, they're like six shades darker already because they they living at the beach now. They living at the beach. It's it's just a blessing and it, and. Yes, it's the beach. It's a great place, a great location, but it's the people and, and, and the hospitality that we've received uh, since taking the job and coming down. It's been unbelievable for me and my staff. It's, it's been that way. But, you know, we we wouldn't be able to uh, enjoy that if we couldn't say thank you to the people at, at Western. Right. You know, and, and Alex Gary, you know, believing in me when I didn't have any head coaching experience um, and believing in the vision staff that I have is unbelievable. Being able to pick up everybody from there and bring them with me down to the coast is something that I was really excited about. And we're just trying to build something special. And we know it's not built overnight, um, but it can be built fast um, with the right work and the intention, the detail, and uh, the people around us. So we're excited about it. No doubt, brother. That's something you make a great, a great point, brother, because, you know, in this business, a lot of times, Guys get left back. You're able to bring your whole staff with you, you know, give them elevated titles as well. It's quite important those guys are, especially Coach G and those guys below him, man, uh, who I have worked together with you, help support you, man, because they've been there for you since day one, man. Really helped you get this opportunity with their hard work as well. So talk about them, man, especially Coach G, what he means to you. Yeah, I think um, 
just in general, when you think of uh, a head coach, a lot of times, sometimes they forget about the people that sort of elevate you and, and work alongside you. And Coach G has been that, um, been a head coach. So he knows the ins and outs of it. Been around college basketball, you know, from the long, the days long ago to, to the new days and the changing of, of, of changing world of college sports and athletics. Um, but I think that I like to say I have three, three head coaches on the team, you know, and, and, and um, G is one of those, but Ryan Lightfoot, I'm telling you, is a stud. Like, I mean, he'll, he'll be a division one head coach soon. I was lucky enough to, to have him come down here with me uh, to coastal and then, you know, we have uh, Kyle Taylor, who has been a head coach in the Juco, Juco ranks for the last five years. At, he was at Salt Lake Community College. I mean, they've had perennial top five teams, you know, so had an eye for talent, had a, had an ability to get that talent to move forward and win games, but he cares about them. And then, you know, uh, Zach Friesman, we've been together since Winthrop. We worked for Kels down there. He came up with me uh, to Western. I think he has a bright future in it. Uh, Cody Cohen, who was our video coordinator. Now he's over basketball logistics and everything internal with our players. And he's awesome stud being able to, to, to get him. And he came up and worked for me at Western on his own dime, you know? So it's like now being able to, you know, get out there and get and be in the trenches with us and be a coach, right? Um, Austin Davis, our strength coach, telling you, us absolute gem. That was one of the best hires that we made. Um, being able to change our guys' bodies. Uh, he played in Michigan, so he played in the Final Four. He's been around big time programs. He worked at Michigan as well. Um, uh, Molly Bashan, who's now our, our administrative assistant, who was our ops last year. She knows the ins and outs. She knows how I operate and how I roll how I think, how I want things. I mean, we just have a really, really well put together staff and everybody has a role that they can star in. And and I know it's not about me, right? It's 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 a we mentality. We've always had that. We always will be. Um, and giving some people some accountability, holding people accountable, but giving them a leash to do their thing. Like if you're a coach and it says coach under your title, then you need to be coaching. Right. Uh, I, okay. You know, I don't put you behind the scenes and doing those things. Now, the opinion is there. You know, we, 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 we've had some dog fights in the, in the war room that we like to call it back when we're meeting. But whenever we come out of that room, if I'm saying we're going right. Guess what? Everybody's going right. You know, and, and, and we're attacking it that way. And I'm blessed, blessed to have that staff. And you, very something about the strength coach, because you know, it's called kind of basketball is the longest season of all the sports. So you got to be, Going from November through March, playing games, so building that back bodies up now. Summertime, getting that conditioning in now, so key to be healthy. Come February and March when it counts, we're trying to go in that March basket, getting that big big tournament, man. So you can you know get get, get that shine on CBF and, and TNT. <laughs> <laughs> get that one shining moment, right? <laughs> no doubt. Now, bro, when I'm asking this, man, with, with you guys being down there already, man, uh. How's it been uh, building that culture with these young men, uh, getting them buy into you? As as I, I already know, I already know how you what your work is, man. But getting young men to see what you've done and trust you and your staff, and get them down there and kind of see what you're working with here in the summertime. Yeah, I think you know before we got on this call, you know, I, I was having player meetings, you know, and I think it's just it's time, right? You know, I tell my kids that it's how I spell love is T I M E. Uh, you got to spend time with them. And, and and sort of, you know, hear their heart, so to speak. Um, and then just set a standard. You know, the, the, the baseline is the standard. We're not trying to get to the standard or reach the standard. No, 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 no. We're not falling below it. And, you know, when we, when we try to identify kids, we talk about uh, character, toughness, and talent. You know, we, we need those three, right? And, you know, you – we're going to be around a lot. It's easy to win with a bunch of people. When it's happy and things are going well, everybody's smiling, you know, those things are fun. It's like when you're in the mud a little bit, You, I've never seen nobody run run through no mud and not get it on their socks, right? Like you got to have some of those guys that's willing to go through those, those tough moments. And I think that's what we're doing now. Like anything that we want, we know it's on the other side of hard. So, 
strength and condition is going to be hard. These summer workouts are going to be hard. When you come back in the fall, it's going to be hard. You know, we have to have those things. And I think that's the culture of, you know, what, we, what we're trying to build now. Um, I think also our players, they understand that, but it's also different languages. I mean, we got, what, 12 new guys. We'll have new walk on. We'll, I mean, we'll have everybody, two guys that will be returning that were here. And guess what? We didn't coach them. So we'll have a whole new team um, and being able to get on the same page with the with the language, with the, with the right amount of effort and how we would compete and how we're there for each other. That's the beauty of building a team, you know, and that's what coaching, that's when coaching comes into play. Um, everybody sees the games, but it's these moments. And I, I heard something, I saw something that Coach Missoula was talking about from the Celtics. He said the ability to have your coaches, your players be coached and them willing to be coached is important, you know, because, you know, if you have a lot of bark back and a lot of bite, you're not coaching them. You're just allowing them to do whatever they sort of want. And, our guys here are buying into our culture and, and, and our language and how we do things. And we're excited about it. We're just making daily deposits. No doubt. And so, bro, with this being all new players in your system, you I know, I know you're big on development. So this is some a little bit more team stuff than normal because trying to get people mm-hmm. understand the language, understand you know, the schematics, what we're doing here, more so than working on their games. But we got to kind of put the lace the foundation of what we're going to do when it gets mm-hmm. real in, in the fall. Yeah, we try to make sure every every workout has a has a has a skill um, portion of it. You know, I'm big on agility and, and conditioning. So Coach Davis does a great job with his time and being able to get guys, you know, and, and having good feet, having good hands, knowing where their body is, getting stronger, getting explosive. Um, basketball wise, it's dribble, pass, and shoot. You know what I mean? So we'll we'll always have some some kind of aspect of that in our workouts and then when we're talking about um the system you know we're a defensive program we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna be physical so it's like coaching guys on that like we, we're not playing um um what's the new game everybody's playing uh uh not tennis not ping pong uh pickleball pickleball we ain't playing freaking pickleball you know what i mean like hit somebody so yes. in order to do that, you have to be used to hitting somebody. So we we do those things in the summer, try to build up a, a callus, so to speak, to physicality. Um, and I think our guys are embracing that. Now, dudes are a little bit more sore, <laughs> on, on you know, today than they were when they came in. But that means we're, we're going in the right direction. We're building it up the right way. And uh, we'll be smart about it. No doubt, man. You know what? I was watching the finals, man, like, Seeing the way they're defending, like they're letting them be physical with physical. Now, not they're not going over the line, but letting them give them defense a chance to defend. You know, mm-hmm. have an opportunity to defend. Give them a little tuck on the hard heads, a little. It's just you know, give them a little stuff. You know. Yeah, I think when you're talking about championship basketball, you know, the refs come out of it, right? It's the players making the plays. So yeah. when you think about winning in the tournament or a big game, how many times have we went? It's like, man, he got fouled. They ain't blow no whistle. It wasn't a foul, right? So getting your getting your guys to understand those are the moments, those are the, the moments that you want to be in. That's how it's gonna be, right? So getting ready and getting your body ready for that is 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 vital. And man, how size are you being be the Sun Belt man? One of the best group of five conferences in, in America, man. And so what about this Sun Belt conference? Just looking forward to man. And I hope I hope you play in Georgia, Georgia State this year. Hopefully you play at them this year. So I can see. <laughs> Yeah, man, that'd be that'd be great, man. I think, you know, the league is is just it's a it's a great basketball league. You know, it's really good coaches. The talent level of the players is is amazing. Um, me just going through the film now and watching old games and trying to get a feel for it is something you won't really know until you're in it. You know, um, but we're excited. You know, just uh, for our university to be able to compete in the Sun Belt. And and went down to my first, you know, head coaches meeting, you know, and it, it was like, man, this is a level up now. It was nice. And, and it's something that I feel blessed to be a part of, but also be able to carry the torch in the league, you know, and um, being able to put my touch on it, bring some excitement, and then try to support the league as best as I can. 
No doubt, man. You had a great experience with my brother. You was coaching USA under 18 team, man. How's the experience being with those guys who on that on that staff, man, you seeing those players, man, helping them get better and, and competing down there, man? Yeah, I think, you know, first it was just, you know, getting a call from Sean Ford and we had some dialogue back and forth about it. And I don't know if you can see, I got a USA jersey that's up in yeah, here. I, I got, see. got a couple of them um, around the office because I'm, you know, being able to being able to compete. You know, I think that's one of the things is the nostalgic feeling. I've been there. I've been a part of the tryouts. I know how it is, you know, trying to get those guys to understand you just, you had to represent your country, right? And it's not only about you, it's about everybody. And how do how you get those guys to play the right way? Stop thinking about me, thinking about we. Uh, I think it's really, really important in those aspects. But, I mean, Tommy Lloyd did a great job of, you know, running the running the, the training camp and they just won the gold medal down in Argentina. So, you know, we followed, we was on the group chat, everybody, all the coaches uh, congratulating them on their efforts. But it's not hard. I mean it's not it's not easy um you know picking the team. You know, so many talented guys. Some of the guys that got left off, guess what? They're gonna be pros. We're gonna be watching them in the NBA finals one day. Um but it's about the team and I thought they did a great job and obviously, you know, it paid off and and, and they, they brought home a gold medal. And for you, man, how cool was it to be around all these other coaches, man, kind of maybe steal from them a little bit to add, add, your, add to your bag, per se, man, and kind of bounce ideas off these guys and kind of can help you in, in your role here at Coast. Yeah, I think that's that was why I hopped all over the opportunity, right? And you're thinking about um, Michael Shrewsbury at Notre Dame, uh, Grant McCaslin down at Texas Ted, Todd that's at Arizona, Tommy that's at Arizona. You had um I mean such a good good group. John Shire at Duke, uh Ben McCullough that's at Drake now, uh, uh John up at St. Louis. I thought everybody that was there and a part of it are really, really good coaches. And I thought it was really interesting to see how Sean Ford um, sort of help organize that. It was like a CEO mindset for me. You know, when you think of college basketball now, we are all CEOs, mm -hmm. right? You know, how do we run our business? You know, what does the meeting look like? What's the conversation? How are we talking about the players? You know, just trying to learn. You know, I'm still young in the profession, and I'm always be learning. But being able to be around them and now have their numbers to hey, run something by them. You know, and what about this? And let me get a game. <laughs> you know what I mean? Trying to sneak some of that in there as well, but uh, it was it was it was a blessing, you know. To sort of to, to it's always a blessing to wear you know your, your country's colors, but to be you know a part of the select few that was able to help select that team, and you know, now I'll be forever a part of USA basketball. That's that's a that's an awesome honor, and one day I hope I'm I'm the head coach or, or coach on that team and standing up on the podium and getting a gold medal as a coach. You know, I got one as a player. And be able to get one as a coach would be awesome. No doubt. Well, my brother, man, I'm happy for you, brother. Like I said, I said I knew some, but I knew I can catch you. These Georgia State, man. I can catch you there. On the yeah. <laughs> we'll be down you know, there in the catch, eighth. Catch my man. So, hey, man, I, I'm happy for you, brother. You know, I'm happy for you, man. So, Hope to see you on live period. I'll be at the events in Atlanta. So hopefully I'll catch you on the live period as well, my brother. But you know, always on the show. We love having you on the show, brother. And I'm always 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 in your corner, my guy. Hey, boss man, I appreciate you, man. Every time we get to talk on the show, it's it's always good. And I appreciate all your support. And anytime that you need me, man, just give me a shout. Sounds good, my brother. Folks, Justin Gray, the boss man. So now at Coastal Carolina, you see your yeah, over there. Shots up, baby. Shots up. BS3 Network, changing the way you watch TV. Yes, BS3 Network, changing the way you watch TV, covering content and hot topics from A to Z. Sports, music, society and culture, movie reviews, you name it, we have it. Check it out on bs3network.com or check us out on Roku, BS3 TV on Roku as well as check out your favorite podcast on all podcast platforms or Spreaker.com backslash BS3 Network.
You are now tuned to BS3 Network. What's up, good people? Bet Online is your number one source for all your betting needs. The latest odds, lines, and matchup reports for baseball, boxing, golf, and more. Bet Online continues to be the fastest and easiest way to place your wages, including live betting and your favorite casino and card games available to play right from your phone. Head to the website or use your mobile device to sign up today and get in on the action. Remember to use your promo code BLEAV, B-L-E-A-V, for your 50% welcome bonus on your first deposit. Bet online when the game starts. What's up, family? Jared the Boss Man here. You're tuned into the Boss Man Show on AM 1010, AM 1430, 105.5 The King. Get the King out at 105theking.com and the Boss Man Show at bossmanshow.com. Hit me up on Instagram, the Boss Man Show, Twitter at Boss Man Show, and Facebook, Boss Man Show. It's the Boss Man on your radio. Listen to the Boss Man Show with your host, JR, Saturdays at 9 a.m. right here on AM 1010, The King.